Okay, so by this time in class, we have already practiced this once or twice um, for our DMR. Um, so we're gonna write our factors. 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, 4. I'm gonna write the factors here. 1, 36, 2, 12, 3, oh, no, it's not, it's 3, 12, 3, oh, 4, 9. Okay, so I'm going to look for the largest factors that are the same. That will be 12, okay? So that means I'm bringing the 12 out, I'm factoring it out, and I'm going to write down the, um, I'm not gonna use that color, use this color, the factors that are left, which in this case is a one X and positive three. So that one is finished. We're going to try the next problem. I'm going to write my factors again. So 1, 24, 2, 12, 4, 6, and I got another one, 3, 8. And 8 has got 1, 8, 2, 4, uh, that's it. So we want the largest factor, which in this case is 8. So I'm going to bring the 8 out. I'm going to look for their other term. So the 24 came from eight and three, and the eight come from eight and positive one. Okay, I don't know why I keep changing colors when I don't need to. The only factors here are one and five. So that means I better figure out something that has a factor of five and 100. So that's five, and 20. So the factor that I'm going to pull out will be five. So five times the factors that are left, which is one, which means I have one C and a positive 20. Okay, push pause. You guys give it a try for the last one and then return. So you should have returned. We're going to split these up. Um, 16, let's see. I'm gonna try 16 times three and see if that gives me 48, because I'm not positive all, all my factors. But I know it's one and 16, four and four, and two and eight. But I'm wondering if this number is a factor of 48. 48 is going to have a lot of factors. So 6 times 3 is 18, carry the 1, 48. So it is. So my largest factor will be 16. So I'm going to pull out that 16, factor out that 16, and write down the factors that are left. So this one would have 1P, and it will have a negative 3. So there are our final answers for those.